haven't done a video in nature in such a long time and it's a great opportunity because I'm walking by the beach I'm actually by a lagoon which probably you can see I've taken a video before but you can see in the back there it's really white sands and this beautiful little lagoon that has created itself between two different beaches lots of plants lots of wildlife is pretty and uh, I haven't been to the beach in a long time so this is actually a nice opportunity to uh, to breathe this uh, sea air which has got a very specific beautiful smell to it and um, truly truly um, soothing and the noise I woke up to the to the noise of the the sea waves which was actually a treat I am visiting a friend who although we live only like an hour from each other I see only twice a year because it be very busy I'm very busy and we don't seem to be able to always spend time together but yesterday we had we made a commitment to having the weekend before he flies out so another of his trips for work oh here you can see it better look at this it's amazing beautiful and we yeah, we we were talking about change yesterday and we were of course talking about changes that are happening in portugal that happened in portugal the good the bad and i think change it's mostly positive when we are effortly working on making it happen and it can be obviously a, an organic thing that happens when well you have you you take actions and there is a consequence right so i don't like to say it's better good but there's definitely the purposeful way of doing of taking change of making changes and then the more unconscious way which is how society is going right the changes that are happening are unconscious changes are because people complain but they don't take action they complain but they follow the rules that are, they don't make sense and they are enslaved to a system because they're attached to money and uh, houses and cars and everything has to be this and has to be that and there is so much more to life especially when if you think about it we don't spend a lot of time on this planet so if you are actually working 60 years of your life to have objects that are not even coming to you with you in another realm I mean I couldn't think of something more idiotic that we do as humans and we actually really need to check ourselves with that so our pride sometimes is very is, is very dangerous for our well-being and for our commitment to our souls to change as the beautiful human beings that we can be so change is what I wanted to talk about and it's obviously the change of uh, each person when we know that we're not happy with something and we have to take action and we have to change the way that we're wired uh, this is how we also manifest this is how we change our life by manifesting the things that we want instead of the things that we don't want and the trick is this we have to understand our brains right our brains are subconsciously formed um, from zero to seven especially and that depends on the environment we live in so if our caretakers are using certain words if they are um, thinking in a certain way and telling us what the thoughts are and teaching us certain words and, and the connotation to these words a way of living we we kind of really take it in and then what happens is that that's the belief system that we grow up with and it's very difficult to really pay attention to that consciously because it is ingrained in our subconscious we don't really know um, that we are even thinking in a certain way and of course we fight for individuality because that's a human uh, it's our human nature but we tend to mold ourselves to the um, customs and the behaviors and the thought around us because we want to fit in because being different can feel challenging right so we have to we have to acknowledge that and we have to acknowledge that at some point in our life we, we really want to be different it's not about criticizing what's not working or what it is around us it's actually transforming ourselves so that we can see the impact because every action has a an outcome right as a consequence and um, and this is where we fail I think with in every single way because we are very 
very good at complaining, very good at finding excuses, very good at finding the negativity, being victims. But the moment you take accountability for it all, you have to completely become responsible for everything that you say and you do. And even when you make mistakes, you have to be accountable enough to say sorry to yourself, not just to others. Um, and this is the other part. We don't really have kindness towards ourselves to actually make the changes because we think maybe we're not worthy or we can't, right? We, that's something I hear so much from clients. Oh, I can't change. I mean, I'm already 50. I'm already 60. I'm already 45. Uh, I'm already this. I'm already that. So what? You are... You are... A byproduct of your life up to now and you can become the byproduct of the life you want if you make changes from now so you're nothing that can be uh, molded into something you want but it's the fear of the unknown and I get it but at the same time um, if you are complaining if you are unhappy if you portray that energy then you have to do something about it and it can't just be talking about it and doing nothing about it you have to take actions so that was something that really came to me especially when people say oh, I can't do this and I'm already this age it is ridiculous and it comes from the fact that we are attached to our environment because it's a it's it's so scary to step out of everything It's really really scary um, I know because I still feel that kind of fear. I still every day need to work consciously on how I'm going to act about on, on certain things and how I'm going to make decisions. Or even, you know, this weekend, um, this weekend was planned with my friend for a while and my instincts were to really just go back to the farm and stay there and spend time with my dogs, which I actually want to do because I, 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 I miss them. I love them, miss them. But... I am going through a lot of changes in my personal life so it's not an easy place to be at right now um, but equally it was because I felt like I needed something a little bit more um, uh, like known and uh, familiar and then I said hold on why am I saying no to something that I actually will enjoy um, and I'm glad I did it because I did enjoy it. And of course, it's more effort, you know, especially when you don't have your things around and you have to, you know, you have to pack things to bring with you or whatever it is. But equally, I am enjoying a beautiful scenery I haven't seen before. I haven't seen this part of Maurice before. I haven't enjoyed sitting in nature, looking at the birds right now. They're flying all over. Beautiful. And, um, and just being able to film this where I am right now, right? Instead of being at the farm and actually when I'm at the farm I don't really relax because there's so much to do and I'm the only one that can who does it um you know like cleaning that takes me a full day preparing things it is always work and so I'm like well if I want to rest this weekend I really probably have to go somewhere else because if I go back there as much as it's familiar and it won't be restful so it is um it's the conundrum of change, right? It's uh, your your body and your brain pulls you towards what you know because it feels comforting, comforting, and and it feels familiar. But equally, we have to be able to take the time to perhaps um, explore different things. So when it comes to change, this is what I would love you to do today. I I think if you are in a place where you feel like you are a victim, and that's something you need to snap out of. It is the most acidic feeling you can be in. Try to write down the things you want to change in your life. And then try to find what it is that your belief systems are. So maybe it's something that you have, you believe that the outcome of something could be that because you experienced it before. Because, you know, I am this. So this is the what I, what I can or cannot get. This is what I can, what I deserve and what I don't deserve. Whatever it is, you make your list, you know it. And then... I like you to meditate, and that by meditating, um, sit five minutes every day, and just imagine your life being, for each point that you listed, being different. So, how would it feel if I was this person? How would it feel if I had this? How would it feel if I changed this? And allow 
the positive mindsets around that change to not only be, oh, I'm positive about it, but feeling it. The feeling is very important. And then try to apply one action, even if it's one a month, a different action to your routine. So if you are someone that naturally, when you like, oh, I want to go away, you feel that yearning, but then you don't do it because you're afraid, book a place, go away. Go away for the weekend, go away for the day, do something for yourself, push yourself, challenge yourself. I don't know what it is for each of you. Of course, everybody has different things to working on, but whatever it is, find that point and then challenge it with an action. And try to find yourself in a place where after you can look back and think, oh, I've done it. This is amazing. This is what I was saying in my caption today when I did yoga, like that transformation and change and and it's okay to be vulnerable to feel like my gosh this is overwhelming but then actually taking action and looking back and thinking yes I've done it so if you want to work with somebody I'm here to work with you if you want to do it on your own you can you have the power uh, we can always get guidance uh, but you have to do the work in the end anyway really that's the truth when I work with my clients I am not they, they credit me for changing their life but I haven't changed anything I have given them the tools to do the changes and when they change I always urge that they please make sure that they credit themselves and of course I take the credit of being their co-pilot because that's what I want to do that's for my it's not just a job but that's my calling but and it's my life and I do it on myself so I love it and I take it and I appreciate the compliment so much but I will also always urge them to make sure that they credit themselves too for the wonderful things that they actually do take part in when it comes to their life like hey you are working actively to making changes for you it is fantastic and you have all the credit so guys i hope you have a great monday and of course if you want to chat and work with me get in touch livelinhealth.com on my instagram i always reply you can um, email me. All the details for contacting me are actually on my page on Instagram or YouTube. So I'm available. Just uh, get in touch. And um, they, there is very little time to do one-to-one -one at the moment. But I, I'm also thinking about opening another group like my inner circle where we dive a little bit deeper in different kind of topics as well. So the inner circle that I've created that started in April is mostly about health is like a course and then I would like to also have something that is more about the self-development part um, I'd love to have one that's more about anatomy and physiology as well but that's very dedicated really like just to simplify how the body works um, and um, there are things that we can definitely work on on this so yeah get in touch with me if you want to know more bye